I sadly didn't grow up during the Nickelodeon 90s era, but thanks to Nick Toon running most of the cartoons of the time, I've come to know and appreciate a variety of shows that came out during the era. One of the biggest shows that came out of that time that I still believe has a big influence on people today was The Ren and Stimpy Show. From the animation to the crude humor, it's no wonder how this became and it still is one of the most influential shows of generation. All of this was because of those behind the scenes and the creator of the show, John K. The show would run for about five seasons, but during that time, John K was fired from the network over several behind the scenes issues. After that, John would go into guest anime and create new shows. He even tried to reboot Ren and Stimpy for a more adult audience, but that didn't end well. Over the years, we've learned things about John K that are downright disturbing, and I promise not to go too deep into it. Instead, I'm just going to link to the Blame on Jorge video talking about it. But trust me, I'm not going to use what was talked about him to talk about today's topic. Because whether this came to that or not, it's not going to affect my opinion that Cans Without Labels is by far one of the worst shorts I've ever seen. This short was thanks to a Kickstarter John made back in 2012 with a planned release in 2013. This short didn't see the thought of day until 6 years later. This is already a problem because with Kickstarters you have this short time frame to deliver your product to those who paid money to make it happen. You have this time frame to follow through and the longer it goes the more impatient people become. This will eventually lead to people either getting angry from waiting so long or forgetting about it altogether. But this is an animated project, and considering it was hand drawn, I can guess this delay was partly because of them trying to get it right. So, was that the case? Not really. The animation is passable in parts, but there are other times where it's absolutely hard to watch. From over expressions of characters and actions, to points where it looks like the characters are being dragged by a mouse, to wherever the hell this is, there are points where the animation is tough to sit through. And that's a shame considering there was a team who worked hard on this project all these years. So you expect for there to be some quality here. Also, this short uses CG animation, and it puts it in a weird place, not like the Uncanny Valley, but it still feels out of place nonetheless. The voice work is something I'm actually okay with. This short has Mike Pataki reprising his role as George Dicker from the Ren and Stimpy show, and will be one of his final roles for his death in 2010. While the other actors who voice the characters are doing an okay job, there are points where dead air can be heard in the background. Hmm. Let's see now. I think he's a web footed, beady eyed, face eating bastard. As for the story, the entire short revolves around kids earning and stab trying to eat a canned face after Uncle George Dicker tells him to eat it. It's basic enough for them in minutes, but I feel more could have been done in terms of comedy given all the action getting to during this time. All that happens is that they try to get a cat in the face, and then a duck does it. That's it. There should have been more action between that time. How should it go from 1 to 100 just like that? Having it just be this comes off as boring and very lacking in terms of energy the situation could have given off. Another issue is how the humor is presented here. What may run and be good, but I can get away with risky humor and still put off a rating that can make it possible for children to see it. Here, it's just throwing you shock humor in the hopes it makes you laugh and enjoy it. And that does not equal funny at all. It just comes off as trying too hard where it doesn't need to. There should be subtlety here, but instead it's like getting hit over the head with a shovel. In the end, Cans Without Labels is both memorable and forgettable for the wrong reasons. It's memorable given how bad the short is from the animation story and times the voice acting playing a reason why, and forgettable because people will want to forget watching this because it's a bad short people don't remember fondly. It's a double-edged sort of bad, no possible way of looking at it differently. If you want to suffer like me and see for yourself how bad it is, the short is on YouTube on John K's channel. I guess you realize people don't want to pay $25 for a DVD of this short and whatever the hell this is. I was lucky enough and I used that quote to get a copy off of YouTube before it got taken down, hence the gray bars on the screen. But I honestly still feel like I got robbed even though I didn't pay money for it. Cancel out labels is not about problems and I want to get my mind off of this topic and focus on something else. So next time I'll switch things up and discuss something live action instead. So, what's it gonna be? Listen, the door. What do you want? We want James. Oh, motherfucker.